Hello everyone, welcome to the new video. Today we will discuss the case processing steps in pharmacovigilance. So let's start. Once we receive any adverse event report from solicited sources like clinical trial and compassionate use programs or any unsolicited sources like literature and other spontaneous sources, we need to database the report in safety database. The day on which company who is manufacturer of drug receive any adverse event report, that day is called as day zero of the case. Case is nothing but the report what we receive. Reports in pharmacovigilance also called as individual case safety reports. And day zero referred as regulatory clock start date. To understand steps in case processing we need to know what is regulatory timelines. 7 day timeline for fatal and life threatening cases. 15 day timeline for other serious cases like cases with seriousness of hospitalization, disability, etc. 90 day timeline for non-serious cases. This is the time frame in which manufacturer of the drug need to provide details of report to regulatory authority. You need to prioritize the reports as per seriousness. So the process starts with confirmation of valid reports. Once report is valid, you need to search for duplicate reports if any in safety database. Safety database most commonly used are Argus, Aris G, Rave, etc. First step in case processing is triage of individual case safety reports. If case is valid with all four validity parameters, then triage associate can database the report in safety database and enter all four valid criteria in case. Any safety report once database in safety database it's called as case. Once done he or she can ask query for the missing information and push the case ahead to next workflow step. Second step in case processing is data entry of individual case safety reports. This person will now enter all data in safety database. Responsibility of data entry associate includes Data entered in safety database should be accurate and complete as per report. Proper coding of medical terms which includes medical history, events etc. can be coded through medical dictionary for regulatory activities. Coding of drugs as appropriate with the help of World Health Organization drug dictionary or company dictionary. Write narrative for the case and ask query if any. Third step in case processing is quality review of individual case safety reports. In this step, associate will thoroughly check quality of all data entered by data entry associate. Quality reviewer will check whether data entered is complete and accurate. Proper coding of drugs and medical terms with the help of appropriate dictionary was performed or not. Check narrative. Correct the case as and when needed. Basically responsibility of quality reviewer is to give green flag to all data entered by data entry associate. Quality associate can ask query, if any. Next step is medical review of individual case safety reports. Medical reviewer is a doctor by profession and responsibility of medical reviewer is to check causality of the reported event with drug. Seriousness of the event. Can check whether coding of medical terms were correct. Can write company comment. Basically check the case for medical sense and ask query. Last step is submission of individual case safety reports. Submission associate can check the case for completeness, will perform validity check of the case, and then submit the case to appropriate regulatory authority. This is the complete cycle of case processing. Just to summarize the steps involved in case processing, it starts with triage or book in of the case, data entry of the case, quality review of the case, medical review of the case, and finally submission of the case to the appropriate regulatory authority. Now we will discuss in brief qualification and experience required to perform this activity. For triage, data entry, quality review and submission. Qualification needed is any life science graduation. Associate can be pharmacist, nurse, dentist etc. Must have one year of experience in case processing. Freshers can work in data entry department. For medical review, minimum qualification required is bachelor of medicine and bachelor of surgery or doctor of medicine. So that's it for today. You can check description or i button for more related videos. If you found this information helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.